Washington State's highway system is made up of many integral components that are vital to its successful operation. One key component to Washington's very active transportation system is an engineering marvel called the bridge. With more than 3,000 bridges in the WashDOT inventory, it takes a lot of people and a lot of resources to keep them open, functioning, and safe for the motoring public. A scenario in which a bridge would be closed for any reason means the transportation system can be severely impacted. With that in mind, a year-round bridge inspection and assessment program is in constant operation to ensure that scenario is avoided. When it comes to caring for its bridges, WashDOT never rests. But what is really involved in the care and maintenance of these finite structures called bridges? They're not designed to last forever. And while WashDOT does everything within its available resources to get the most life possible from any given bridge, there is a definite life cycle that every bridge goes through. Let's take a look. For the most part, our bridge begins its life being designed and built with the latest engineering know-how and materials available at the time. In the early 1900s, a new bridge may have been designed to last 50 years. Today's modern bridges can be designed to last 75 years or even as much as 100 years. But no matter how long a bridge is designed to last, there is going to be scheduled maintenance and assessment carried out through the life of the bridge. From the day a bridge is built through its life, there's many different aspects of maintenance and rehabilitation or repairs that come into play during the life of a bridge. Much of that begins with the bridge inspection program. Our bridge inspectors are constantly looking at bridges during their life to identify their repair and rehabilitation needs. We work closely with our statewide bridge maintenance crews to maintain and repair these bridges over their life. As well as when needed, uh, we define and uh, help develop maintenance contracts to uh, rehabilitate or replace structures. To reduce the life cycle cost and the repair and maintenance of bridges, we've been working to clean our bridges. Uh, cleaning bridges helps reduce the amount of corrosion and deterioration that happens in a bridge. Last year, we started a pilot project with a dedicated bridge maintenance crew to do preventative maintenance work on bridge decks. With over 3,000 bridges in our inventory, it's challenging to maintain and repair these bridges. To help with that, we're adding dedicated bridge crews. These bridge preservation programs are vital to maintaining an infrastructure that's open to the traveling public and commerce. One need only look at these structures to begin to understand the cost involved in keeping them safe and available for use 24-7. And that becomes the difficulty for the Department of Transportation, when a factor that can't be changed or slowed begins to take effect. Age. It is unstoppable and there are no options but to deal with it in the best way possible with the never-ending goal of minimal impact on the traveling public. As bridges approach the end of their design life, there begins a balancing act between the cost of maintaining a bridge to keep it safe and available and replacing a bridge when the cost of maintenance becomes an exercise in diminishing returns. So at some point, money becomes a a uh, sticky issue to talk about. But in bridge preservation, it is a necessary point, and we need to address this issue because we have 3,100 bridges. Each one of those bridges needs maintenance and preservation. Just like a car needs routine maintenance, our bridge network needs routine maintenance also. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to extend all our resources to make sure that our network is preserved. We may paint a bridge, we may do a deck rehabilitation, we may even have to replace a bridge. Ultimately, each bridge has a finite life. And so we, at the end of the, the bridge life, are gonna have to make some tough trade-off decisions. It may require a load restriction on that bridge, or even in extreme cases, a closure of that bridge, which we will exhaust every resource possible to avoid that, but we are going to make sure that the public is safe. And if we have to make that decision, we will have to make it in, in order to keep the public safe. 
There are a lot of hard decisions made almost daily to make sure that Washington State's extensive bridge inventory is fully functional. Because of WashDOT's commitment to excellence in bridge preservation, anyone crossing one of our bridges has the assurance that if the bridge is open, it's safe, period. That is WashDOT's commitment, and we take it very seriously. Keeping Washington's motoring public and extensive commerce moving 24-7, 365 days a year is our job, and nobody does it better.